Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode 33 of my SPSS tutorials here on YouTube. Today is the second time we're gonna look at the univariate ANOVA. In last episode, so number 32, we had only one independence variable and only one dependence variable. But today we're gonna uh, make it a bit tougher and, do, uh, and take two independent variables into account while, while still only having one dependence variable. And in the two episodes afterwards, so 34 or 35, I'll do multivariate ANOVAs with multiple dependents. But today we're going to have a look at the univariate ANOVA with two independent variables and one dependent variable. If this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like and subscribe to this, ch to this channel. It's a small favor from your side, but it means the world to me. I want to make this channel grow as much as possible. And you can really help. Okay, so the data set we're looking at today is one about religion. Uh, it was uh, all the respondents are people who go to church. And the first, uh, the first variable is gender, which is either male or female, either one or two. And the length of how long they've been going to this church, which is I belong to this church since. And then my birth is a group. The second category is since I changed churches. Three is at a later age, and four is I don't belong to a church at the moment. And we want to know whether those four categories significantly differ for in uh, to what extent they are religiously committed. So we're going to take a look at religious commitment one, and whether that differs between length of how long you've been going to church, but this time also about gender. We found out yesterday that there are that there are significant differences in in the length groups. But we also want to know whether there's a significant difference between the genders and whether there might be an interaction between the two. Maybe one is a moderator for the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, then the dependent variable is in this case Religious Commitment 1, and the two fixed factors are gender and length. Model, Contrast and Plots you can leave as it is. With post hoc. You can select the, the two independent variables and then select LSD, Ponferroni or Chuki. In this case, I'm going to select LSD. Then you press continue. At EM means you select the gender, the length, and in this time, and also the interaction between the two. And then compare main effects. And then you can either select LSD or Bonferroni once again. I'll leave it at LSD for now. Then you press continue. Save and bootstrap you leave as it is, but at options, you want to select the descriptive statistics, estimates of effect size, observed power, parameter estimates, and last but not least, it's very important, the homogeneity tests. Then you press continue, then you press paste, and if a syntax hasn't been opened yet, then it will now. Then you select the code, and you press the big green play button, also known as run selection. Uh... And if you then go to your output screen, yeah, okay. Uh, if you then go to your output screen, you'll get all the uh, tables for the univariate ANOVA. So first of all, a frequency table. So what are the frequencies for the male group, uh, for the gender groups, and for the length groups? And then you can see a descriptive statistics of the combinations. So for example, someone with gender one, who's in the first length group, has an estimate uh, religious commitment of 3.44. Well, for example, someone with gender 2, who is in group 4, so who doesn't belong to a church, has a religious commitment of only 3.0, so that's a little bit lower, and that, uh, that makes sense. And what we're, what we're first going to look at is the Levine's test of equality of variances for both independent variables. You're going to look at the highest line, so religious commitment 1, based on mean, and then you take a look at the final value, which is the significance level, and you want it to be higher than 0.05. So normally you want it to be lower, but in this case you want it to be higher. And in this case it is, so therefore you can say that you have met the uh, requirements of the Levine's test of homogeneity. Then you're going to take a look at the most important table, which is the test of between subject effects. Uh, you can look at multiple lines to find out whether there are significant differences or not. The first one we can take a look at is length. It's the same as yesterday. And we can see that the F value is 5.915 and it has a significance of 0 0.001, which is very small. So therefore we can conclude that there are significant differences between the, between the length groups. 
So how long you've been going to the church uh, makes a significant difference on your religious commitment. And the final, uh, final value for this line is going to be the partial ETA squared, which means that uh, 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 and the partial ETA squared uh, shows the percentage of the variance of the dependent variable, which is caused by the independent variable. So in this case, uh, the, uh, the dependent variable, so the religious commitment, has a certain variance. And that variance is caused for 0.9% by the independent variable length. That's what it basically means. So not a lot. So even though it is significant, it is uh, it does have a significant differences. It is not a really good explanation for the total variance in religious commitment. So that was the first independent variable. The second independent variable is the line above that, and that's gender. If we're then going to take a look at the F value, which is only 0.024 and the significance level of 0.878, it shows that there are no significant differences between the two groups. So there is no difference between males and females in their religious commitment levels. And also the partial ETA squared is zero. There's no explanation at all. And then the final line, which you're going to look at, is gender times length, which is the interaction variable. And we're then going to take a look at the F value, which is only 0.297 and the significance level is 0.828, which is way too high. So we can also conclude that gender, uh, besides that it is not a significant independent variable, it, uh, there's also no significant interaction between the two. It could be that gender was a moderator for length, but we've currently found out that it is not because there's no significant interaction. If there would be a significant interaction following from this ANOVA, then you could do a regression to find out what exactly which moder uh, which variable which variable is the moderator for which one. And then if you go lower to the estimated uh, marginal means, you can find out the differences and the pairs. You can find out all the values you need. For example, if uh, someone belongs to uh, you can find sorry you can find all this uh, all the small differences so the the difference between length one and length four is not significant while the difference between length one and length three is significant and you can also uh, see the uh, the the differences for between the gender groups so between gender one and gender two there's no significant difference so you can find all the value all the description all the descriptive values you can find over here and for specific differences, you can find out whether they are significant or not. So that was it for today. Uh, this is uh, the second and last episode on a univariate ANOVA. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, then please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be back to, uh, probably tomorrow with a new episode on multivariate ANOVAs. And see you guys in another video. Bye.